Hi children, welcome to Merry Muppet School, fun and exciting STEAM learning lab. Today we are going to do animation. Animation? Yes, we are going to do animation and this is called Zeotrope. And for that experiment we need a dark colored paper. Black would be preferable. If you don't have, you can take any dark colored paper. A white sheet of paper, a skewer, straw, small piece of straw, paper cutter, glue, super glue, pencil, scissors and a glue stick. Don't forget the ruler and a paper plate. Now let's start the experiment. Now let's measure the center of this black sheet of paper and cut this into half. Now we have two long strips of this paper. We have to attach this one paper with the other. So, with the help of the ruler, leave exactly one centimeter on both the sides of the paper. So, we are going to do this in both the papers. What are we going to do? We are going to attach this and we are going to make a cylinder like this. Okay? But before that, from this first centimeter, we have to measure two and a half centimeter and half centimeter. So continue this. Two and a half centimeter, half centimeter. Two and a half, half. Two and a half, half. So we are going to do this for both the sheets. Now also measure one centimeter from the top and draw a line and some one and a half centimeter from below and draw a line. centimeters from below because this portion we will be sticking to the plate. Let's do the same with the other sheet of paper also. From this line, measure 3 centimeters and draw a line. Now remember we had made markings. Two and a half centimeters, half centimeter, two and a half. 
Now what we are going to do is draw a line like this. We are going to cut this part open. This half a centimeter, we will cut this part open. So I am going to draw a ver vertical lines like this. Now, with the help of the cutter, we are going to cut these vertical small slits open. like this. Now let me cut open all these slits and I will show you. Can you see? We have made slits like this on both these sheets. Now what are we going to do? We are going to, do you remember? We had left a centimeter. We are going to stick these two papers and make a cylinder like this. Okay, and we are going to place it on this paper plate with the help of the super glue. And while we are placing it, we are going to cut open exactly till this line. You remember we had left a, a, a small part beneath. We are going to cut open like this. Fold it. And we are going to paste it, this part, to the paper. And before you paste this cylinder to the paper plate, mark exactly the center of the paper plate and put a hole. like this so that we can hold it like this now I'm going to make the cylinder and paste it on the paper plate children please notice I have pasted this cylindrical uh, zoetrope on the paper plate and we should also take a thin strip of paper and the width of the paper should not stuck the uh, pathway through which we are going to see the animation. We can draw few animations or you can also download this sheet of animations and paste two three strips together and Place it inside the zoetrope template like this.
and now to make this plate stable we are going to paste one small sheet of cardboard measure the center and paste it on both the sides of the plate like this so that when we use the skewer to hold this zoetro it will not wobble let me stick this so i have stuck the cardboard in the middle and we are going to put the skewer in the bottom now if you watch through the slit i hope you are able to watch watch the cartoons moving though they are not actually moving but when we watch through the slits we see them moving hope you are able to see through the camera in olden days we had this type of animation technology the scene in each image follows the scene in the image before it we look through the slit of the zoetro and spin the cylinder we made we see the images rotate quickly inside the cylinder the images are in sequence and therefore they appear to be moving are they moving really no right our brain are able our brain is able to fill in the motion between the frames that's the reason when we view the image through these slits which are dark in color the images don't blur and our brain perceive that motion and takes it in the sequence hope you really enjoy making the animation using this zoetro let's meet with another interesting experiment Bye children